Let's jump right into the tutorial. I'm gonna moisturize my face with the First Aid Beauty, man, you can't see anything. Ultra Repair Cream. You guys, I need a new camera. I like being like hella moisturized for date night. Oh yeah. I went to the beach on Sunday and I got sunburned. I got a weird sunburn. I have a sunburn right here. I don't know. I put on the Garnier Skin Mask, the ultra hydrating one, so I could just kind of calm down the burnt skin, basically. We're gonna be using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. This is my one of my all-time favorite holy grails. Uh, I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral as my base. It's a large shading brush as always, and just kind of push that all over my face, or all over my eyes. Hello. go over that with a real technique sponge dampen I'm gonna go in with white chocolate and then gonna go in with salted caramel and then milk chocolate use this brush this from Hapunesk I believe salted caramel right into my crease the large fluffy brush in white chocolate from the same palette I'm going to diffuse those edges we are gonna go to Papado's tonight I'm really excited I haven't been to Papado's in forever that was me and my dad's restaurant we would go to Papado's too then going in with milk chocolate right here in the palette I'm going to use the Morphe G24 brush. And here's a cool trick. I kind of put, I don't go deep in it, like I don't go down. I turn it on its side and then just kind of sweep it on. That way when I put it in my crease, it can kind of diffuse top and bottom. I think it would be cool to make this a filming room. Alex has been after me to put a TV in here and I'm like, we put a TV player in, a TV player, a TV player. If we put in a TV in here, we need a Blu-ray player because then I can listen to music. Hazelnut, which is kind of like a shimmery. This one right down here in my crease. If you all follow her, but Jenny69 is like now my new hero. Jen Ni, I'll put her name down. I absolutely adore her. Like I am obsessed with Jenny69. She gets me right in here. Use this Urban Essentials. So we're gonna go over it with creme brulee. Ooh, creme brulee, and then this champagne marzipan color right on top of that, right in the center ish. If it doesn't, I might just bring it all the way down to my inner corner, but I don't know. But yeah, Jenny69, she's funny. Oh my gosh. I love her. And her son is so cute. Oh. <laughs> uh, if y'all follow me on Instagram, I did my DNA results. Um, because a lot of y'all ask me, probably not on here so much because I only have like 16 subscribers, but a lot of y'all on Instagram and Snapchat often, you know, ask me what's your blood because you kind of look white, but you're not white. And here's the truth. I am white. I'm 4% Spanish and Italian. So I think that's why I get asked so many times like I'm gonna take this all the way in to my inner corner because I just feel like I have to do it. And then we'll just keep layering it. Anyways, and um I knew it. I knew that there had to be something in there. The rest it's English and Irish, like for real. But if you follow my Instagram, which is the same thing as this killer look, then you'll see the DNA results.
And then we're gonna put marzipan in the inner corner. I got started into makeup when I was a kid. Now I was actually pretty good at it. Um, and I stopped for a long time because I was like a broke ass college student and I couldn't afford shit, you know? I couldn't afford anything. I couldn't afford to even buy tweezers. I had to, I asked Alex to buy them for me because that's how broke I was. I had no money. Nick's pore filler. I had no money. I had nothing. Like, I, I worked at a beauty salon, but like, they didn't sell makeup. They sold like hair care products and skincare products, which is fine, but it wasn't, if you wanted makeup, it was like this really crummy mineral makeup because I guess at that point, that's when mineral makeup was kind of like the rage. Oh, I feel like I have too much product on my face. So, they had like really crummy makeup and I hated it, so I kind of just lost touch. When I graduated high school, I didn't even want to go to college. I just wanted to go to um, a beauty school and learn there, but my mom wanted me to get a business degree in order to go to beauty school, and now I think that even my mom is kind of like, oh, <laughs> whoops. But I don't blame her, because in a way, there was, like my senior year of high school, there was so much yeah so much um going on my senior year and within my family i don't think my mom was really listening to what i was saying i think she was just trying to get her her life together because things were kind of going a little crazy i think that my mom is really like oh i should have but that's okay i'm doing it now i mean they didn't even have youtube back then so it's kind of like hmm. But I, I like late. I had a computer in my room, and like super late at night, going with wet, wet and wild photo focus foundation. I'm in Buff Bisque. Like I would stay up hella late at night, and I would honestly try to rec recreate, like looking at Mac websites and their face charts. And my dad knew that I was super into makeup. So for Christmas, he bought me this, my first palette, and it was a MAC palette with all like the best shades in it. And, uh, and so I would stay up and I would just copy that stuff. And that's just how I practiced. And I was that girl that did all of her makeup with her fingers. It was so nasty. Cause I didn't know. My parents also bought us this makeup palette. I don't know where they got it from, honestly. It was some random one. I don't know. But um, it had the first, what I remember, my first highlight and bronzer. But it wasn't like highlight that we have today. It was highlight from like where everything would be clear and kind of glossy, not more of this glow powder. It's more of a gloss and stuff. It was really weird, but I loved it. And I wish I never threw it away. I mean, honestly, I know it's so bad. I would totally keep it today. So I'm just gonna go in with the Real Techniques brush and buff it on as usual. Because I have product on my face from skincare, I'm just gonna kind of light-handedly pop this onto my face and then I'll go over it with my Real Technique sponge. Just stay. I love this foundation. I have been using it religiously it's cheap you can find it anywhere and the coverage is amazing and it dries so fast but i just want to cover up some of these tan lines that's the thing difference you can like 
super see it versus not really see it. Alex loves tan lines. I like him too, I think they're cute, but when you're trying to look completely flawless, then I'm like, they've got to go. I'm going to go in with Anastasia Brow Definer in dark brown. One down, one to go. We're gonna use Tarte Shape Tape again and then we'll use uh, for underneath our brows to clean up and then we'll use Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation for the top. Cause it's always so obvious when you use concealer on top. Like it just doesn't look good. So I don't do it. So did anybody watch the Katy Perry W, 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 when Patrick Starr did her makeup. He did such a good job on her. Cause it, she, she moved around a lot. And for me, it, you know, I'm not that patient. I'm, I'm kind of, I get into mom mode where I'm like, be still, be still, relax. And I feel her because I do the same thing when I'll say something and I think it's hilarious and nobody laughs. So I keep saying it until, you know, like she kept saying, she's arriving, she's arriving, over and over and over again. And Patrick's just, just doing her makeup. It, she just kept going on. She's arriving. And I'm like, I feel you, Katie. So stop, don't do it anymore. You know, us Katie's gotta stick together, so girlfriend. You need to stop with the, she's arriving. I mean, she said it like three or four times. And every time I turned on to her, to her channel, she's eating salad. She's just eating salad the whole time, the whole time. <laughs> she had Rue over, Rue Paul over, and fed him salad. He has her own salad, he has her his own salad, and then they have the community salad bowl. And then she's constantly just digging out of the community. <sighs> And Rue is just looking at her while he's talking. She's like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And that's fine. Like, girlfriend's hungry. She's she's moving. She's under all these lights, these cameras for however long it was. So I'm like, yeah, she's starving, but shoot, put the salad down. Or, or if you're gonna eat salad and you're gonna have your guest over to eat salad with you, stop double dipping. I can't. Stand it when people double dip. It's so weird. They were talking about their favorite films, uh, Goldie Hawn films, and he said, "Seems like old times." And I screamed because that is one of mine. That is the best movie ever, and RuPaul thinks so too. Me and Rue have a connection. I am gonna contour with the NYX Studio Photogenic um, in shade seven. Just stay. So I'm using a wet and wild brush. I do a really light hand. I don't scrub at my face. I just lightly blend it up. Little by little, I work my nose contour up. All right, let's highlight using the same Fair Neutral by Tarte Shape Tape. Love it. And then just my little dot and then underneath my eyeballs. And then in the middle, and a little bit on my chin, and then right there. <laughs> and a little bit, this underneath, so it's not so obvious. A 
it, set it with some airspun, and then we're gonna go over that with some of the pressed powder. And then I'm gonna go in with this True Match powder from L'Oreal. Then I'm going to set that contour with an angled brush in Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit. And I'm going to be using this shade right here. Kids that keep running up and down my street trying to sell us like their cookies. And it's not like Girl Scout cookies, it's like cookies from their pantry and I'm kind of like, yeah, I don't want your pantry cookies, kids. Go in with the Milani Baked Blush in Rose Dioro. Really kind of peachy, it's kind of coppery. It has a little bit of like a bronzing in it. Um, I thought it was really pretty, it's kind of golden -y peach. And then I'm gonna use actually an angled brush from Urban Essentials. This is one of the big, brush kits that I bought. And I'm just patting it on. Yeah, this blush is really nice. If you just want like a subtle hint, but more of a bronzy glow. For our under eyes, going back in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. Salted Caramel with the Morphe E506, top off excess. And then I'm just gonna run it along my lash line. I go into milk chocolate right on our lash line. You're gonna hear people talk so much shit about you and there's no point in listening to it because they're not sleeping with you at night, they're not paying your bills, and they're not being you. So why listen to a bunch of people that don't even know who you are? And it got to me and it took me a long time to not care. It took me a really long time. And sometimes I still get like inside of my head where I care too much about what people think and how are they gonna perceive me, especially being a mom because in Texas, it is so frowned upon to go outside the traditional. You stay at home or your working career and you have it, you know, all, you know, fine, but if you dress a certain way, if you think a certain way, if you do certain things, people automatically jump the gun on you and they think that you're a bad person because of your personal choices that make you a better person in the end. Like for me, there's a lot of things that I do that a lot of people wouldn't approve of. A lot of people would say, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. What kind of person does that? And for me, it's like, because it makes me a better person. Nothing illegal nothing bad or um, anything that would come back to hurt me but it like some people just can't handle the fact that if you think for your it can't handle that you think for yourself if you think for yourself you know you must be outlandish and crazy and for me it's like no because I'm happy I feel bad for anyone that sits there that sits there and wastes their time thinking about Oh my gosh, this, that, and the other. Like, who cares? Who cares what they think? NYX matte sp setting spray. Feeling it. I think my favorite is when people come out of the woodwork, especially when you're doing well. When you're doing well, people want to be your friend. People want to say that you are their friend. Those are the people you have to watch out for. Cause it's gonna be people that did talk crap to you, that did tell you no, that's impossible. No, you can't do that. Or you're a loser, why are you even trying? And then years, and, and I'm talking years, adulthood later, they're coming back and they're like, hey, how are you? Oh my God, you look so good. I see you. And if you're one of those people, stop. Because that's manipulation and that's toxic. You shouldn't, don't do that to people. Especially if they don't deserve that type of treatment. And then you're gonna come back. Who, why? It's 
stupid. I'm gonna contour my boobs. But you know what I mean? Like, never listen to those people that say, oh my gosh, or make fun of you for anything. I came to realize really late in life that the only reason why they would talk like that to me is because I could do stuff that they couldn't. And it's because I looked different and I didn't follow the rules. So that really messes with people for some reason. A lot of people don't like that and I don't know why. That is not my deal. For me, I don't care what you're doing. I mean, if you're being hateful and harmful towards people, then yeah, I care. But like in middle school and high school, people would give me the hardest time because I thought for myself, into the Car Carly Bible palette. I love this palette. It's got good colors in it. I'm gonna bronze, use her bronzing. I'm just gonna bronze in here a little. Like if I had listened to what all those people would say to me when I was a kid, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be confident because I knew in my head they're only saying that because I'm better than them and it intimidates them. That's why bullies are there because you're better than them and they are so angry that they can't do what you do. They, they aren't who you are. So they pick on you because it makes them feel better. That's what a bully is. They're, they really aren't better than you. In fact, they're way less than you because if you're a person that keeps your nose clean and you're nice to people, you're already doing a lot better than any of those people are doing. None of those people are happy. People that are hateful and they pick, I, I was picked on. I was picked on hella hard. And I would, yeah, walk out crying because I was so hurt by some of the hate that these kids would say, the hateful things that would come out of their mouths. It was crazy. And yeah, it would mess with me. But at the end of the day, I just realized that they're not any better than me, like at all. They're intimidated by me. They don't like who I am because I'm better than them. And I'm more talented and cuter. Like hella cuter than them. Just like those girls were so ugly. And I'm a firm believer that how you are on the inside is how you are going to end up looking on the outside. So if you're an ugly, spiteful, mean person on the inside, that's who you're gonna end up looking like. You're not gonna look good when you get older. You're gonna look hard. You're gonna look bad. So be nice. I was nice to everybody. I would walk through the hall, even when I was getting bullied, I would walk through the hall and I would smile. Hi, how are you? I would be nice to every single person. Every single person. Because I didn't want people to feel like crap. And I still don't want people to feel like that because it's messed up. I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eye Pen so I can draw um, a base for the eyelashes that we're gonna use. Yeah, but it didn't, it, the bullying never messed with me, like in my head. I mean, yeah, I had severe depression but I don't think it was necessarily because of bullying. I think it was just because my home life was super unstable. <laughs> like really unstable. But that's okay. Because now I am living in such a happy home. I'm married. I have my babies and my babies don't have to deal with what I dealt with. Cause I mean, that's so hard for kids. Like, you know, you have to go to school with these buttholes every day. So I know it's not easy saying, oh, 
just ignore them. Cause that was what my mom would do. She would say, just ignore them. In my opinion, that just makes them want to do it more. We're gonna do the Ardell Naturals 110s. Today, like there's bullies as grownups. Like I think the worst are the kind that are kind to your face, but talk about you once you leave. I think the things, what is it, to keep private finances, your next move, and then something else. I think personal life. Because honestly, sometimes people are just waiting for your life to fall apart. There are literally people that will wait for your life to fall apart so that they can swoop in mess it up even more. The thing I don't understand is why girls treat others so badly. Like, we are so few far in between, you guys. Like, <laughs> you need to band together and not have a, a showdown with somebody. That's just ridiculous. Like, we need to stand together, not against each other, because that's just dumb. You're just reiterating everything that we're working against. I don't want to be in a competition with y'all. I want to praise you. I want to be that that meme. I want those the drunk girl in the bathroom taking pictures with you and you're never going to see her again. But still, she was sweet. She wasn't this eh, L. You know, like, why? That's not my deal, I don't like that. Use the So Lashy CoverGirl mascara. I need to get new mascara because I'm kind of tired of this one. I'm gonna use a little bit of, I totally wore it down of this highlight. It's a really light one. I'm gonna put it right in between with my Sephora contour brush, blush contour. Yeah, <laughs> oh my God. Ooh. See how much, oh God, yes. Summer is my sexy time because I mean, you just have to be bronzed, you know? I'm going in with the NYX lip liner in Vanilla Sky and then Max Half and Half, which has been my go-to lately. It's kind of like a pinky brown a little bit on camera it looks more pink but it's definitely a brown and i was thinking depending on how it looked i was going to dot a little bit of this nyx soft matte lip cream in instant bowl and then go over it with the revlon super lustrous lip gloss in snow pink nude now, I don't like to wear a lip cream on date, or not lip cream, a matte lip on date night for me pre personally, um, because when I eat, it kind of, it gets really weird and patchy. I feel that when you have lipstick, it wipes off easily and it'll still leave like a little bit of a wash of color. Lip gloss right in the middle. And that's the look. And then I'm gonna straighten my hair and I will be right back. So this is the finished look. Let me bring you in. Very natural. My dress is from Naked Fashion. I love it. Yeah. Bye guys, thank y'all.